Nigeria! Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the people of Abuja, we are here basically to thank you for your continued support. You have always supported us. We have no reason not to believe you are going to support us again. What we are here for is to pledge to you once again, if you give us the opportunity, we will do more than what we did between 1999 and 2015 for the residents of Abuja Capital Territory. We shall give you all your entitlements under the current constitution. All the appointments that belong to Abuja will be given to Abuja. You know that we had done so before and we are going to do it again. And what you have demanded, which requires constitutional review, we assure you we will support that review to make sure your aspirations are protected or are guaranteed in our new constitution. More so, when we have pledged to restructure this country. In the process of restructuring, we shall give you all what you are demanding. It is nothing new that cannot be done. I want to assure you that, and I want to promise you that. But above all, currently we have challenges. Can you imagine Abuja not secured? Can you imagine Abuja, the federal capital, not secured? We shall protect Abuja and secure it for your own safety. I promise you that one. And, of course, you know our five-point program agenda. We shall unify this country. What do we mean by unifying the country? What we mean is that every part of this country will be given a sense of belonging. No part will be sidelined, no part will be marginalized. And that is how to forge a sense of unity for a country like Nigeria. We have pledged to restore security. It is very, very essential that we give everybody a peace. A farmer, peace to go to the farm, a trader, peace to ply the runway, the highway, go and sell his goods, peace for everybody. It is only when there is peace that we can undertake our legitimate businesses and aspirations. We have promised that education is key to human development. Today, we have the highest number of out-of-school children. We will make sure that these children go back to school. Not only that, we will make sure our universities are reopened and they remain open, lie, lie forever and ever. The people of Abuja, before anybody feels the impact of government, you will be the first. Because you are in the federal capital. I promise you that, as usual, a PDP administration will fulfill all those obligations. We thank you very much indeed for turning up. You can see that the crowd we have recorded today is more than when the APC did their national campaign in this, in this uh, square. We thank you for your loyalty. We are not taking it for granted. We are not taking your loyalty or your support for granted. We are very serious and I assure you we are going to pay you back not with hunger, not with insecurity, not with unemployment. No, no, no. PDP! PDP! Power to the people! Power to Abuja! Power to Abuja! God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you very much! I think we are moving there. This is not our national anthem, national anthem.